two guys who know this inside and out. President of Convention of States himself, Mark Meckler, and America's Constitution coach, Rick Green, join me now. All right, Mark, this is phenomenal. Not enough people know about this. Why not? Yeah, look, it's, uh, I would say, sort of arcane. In other words, I'm a lawyer, and even when I was in law school, we studied Article 5, how you amend the Constitution. It's been done 27 times, but only by Congress. The people have never risen up and done this before. So I think because it's never been done, most people don't know about it. Yeah, Rick, I, I call this a, con a, a, it literally is a constitutional and legislative civil war. Uh, is there any reason to think anything differently? No, you're spot on. And this would be the best constitutional education the country had ever had. If we actually have a convention of states, the whole country is going to be talking about clauses and phrases and different concepts in the Constitution they never thought of before. And, and, and we're all for local involvement. Getting people involved at the local level is absolutely the, the most important place for them to be. But if we don't solve the big picture and we keep Washington out of uh, telling us what to do at the local level, mm -hmm. then we're not going to solve this long term. So people are asking how they can help. Conventionofstates.com is a great place to start. Yeah, well, Mark, the, the the bigger thing here, too, is you guys have put together a massive showing on this already. 19 states have already signed on to it since 2014. But realistically, how possible is this? And, and the possibility of it is basically relying on the fact that state reps who are, live in the community are totally different from the D.C. reps who don't. Yeah, and I think that's entirely accurate, Carl. I've been in 49 states in the last couple of years State legislatures look nothing and act nothing like Washington, D.C. for the most part. Currently, there are 29 states with both houses controlled by Republicans. So I think we have a very good shot of getting this done. Yeah, that would be shocking. Rick, the, the issue, though, is going to make certain things resonate. What are the like I, I talked about a term limits or a spending bill or you know balanced budget. What are the, the key issues that are going to get everybody to actually sign on and bring this to the convention itself, you think? Well, it comes down to the very simple question, who gets to make the decisions in my life, right? And I'm tired of people in Washington, D.C. making that decision. And here's the funny thing, Carl. It's not just conservatives that think this. you got people out on the left coast that are now saying, I don't want the Supreme Court telling me what to do. They don't like this Supreme Court. So when they say, I don't want the Supreme Court telling me what to do or the federal government telling me what to do, we're saying, hey, welcome to the party. We agree with you on that. What we want to do is decentralize the power, have the federal government only do those 17 things the Constitution allows them to do, and all of those things fall under war, commerce, and travel. That's it. Everything else is left to the states, and let each state decide and be their own personality. Look, I'm, you know, I'm a constitutional yeah. conservative. I live in Texas where I want my values represented, and I want to assemble with people that agree with my values. Mm -hmm. Let other states make their own decisions. That's what can keep us together as a nation. So it's actually good for all sides so the issue I think that we can all agree on is yeah. that each state should be able to make their own decisions and the Fed should only make right. those decisions in those 17 things the Constitution gives them. Mark, Liz Cheney is like the glaring example of why the government needs this reform. Take a listen to what she said about the upcoming election. Well, he won't, he won't support and uphold the Constitution. We've already seen what happened. Uh, he is the only president in American history who attempted to overturn an election, who attempted to seize power, to stay in power after he had lost. But that choice can never be Donald Trump, because a vote for Donald Trump uh, may mean the last election that you ever get to vote in. And again, I, I don't say that lightly, um, and it, it, I think it's heartbreaking that that's where we are, but people have to recognize that, that a vote for Donald Trump is a vote against the Constitution. Really? This is from somebody who lost their primary by over 30 points in Wyoming. That, to my point, Mark, shows how different state legislatures are from the people they send to D.C. Yeah, you know, it's interesting. I spend a lot of time in state legislatures, and what I find there are people I actually admire, people who are doing public service, people who are in government for the right reason. Not everybody, but a lot of them, certainly a lot more than we see in Washington, D.C., and certainly a lot smarter than you hear from Liz Cheney. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, uh, Rick, this has never actually happened before, this convention of states, but it's come close. The issues that almost made this a reality, appointment in state legislatures and requiring a balanced federal budget, they're, I mean, like, they're plaguing the country right now more than ever. What's the likelihood of con convening this, let's say, in the next five, ten years? I, I think it's high, Carl. I think people, are, they, they know that the founding fathers foresaw that we would get to this point where the federal government just did not listen to the people back home and they would not change on their own. Any tyrant that's ever taken power from the people without permission, which is what's happened here over the last 80 years, yeah. federal government expanding its power without our permission, 
no tyrant gives back the power, right? We have to take it back, yeah. and the founders gave us the tool to do that. It's time to use it. And, Mark, what's the site so people can find out more about this? Yeah, people can go to conventionofstates.com, and they can get involved there. And this is important, Carl. The three of us aren't going to save the nation by ourselves. We need yeah. people to go to conventionofstates.com, sign the petition, click the Take Action tab, and be part of saving the nation. Yeah. Hey, you heard it right here, folks. You want to flip the bird to the U.S. Congress. Mark Meckler, Rick Green, Convention of States. We appreciate you being here.